Hello friends, this is Scott, and today is March 19th here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm giving you my early spring garlic update. I think spring starts uh, tomorrow, so it was a good day to get this video done and uh, show you how the garlic did over the winter. And here's a bald spot right in the middle of my patch, so overall they look a little haggard, and but they're coming around, but I do have a bald spot for some unknown reason. Now today's video is entitled, you know, an update, but also it's time to remove the mulch. And I want to explain to you why it's so important to move the mulch, especially from uh, raised beds and containers, as well as regular in-ground planting, the uh, same reason. In the spring, obviously the ground is cold. And you mulch the beds in the fall just to keep everything frozen, keep it all the same temperature. You don't want a lot of soil upheaval. But in the spring, uh, mulch is a detriment to getting your garden growing because you need the soil to warm up. And there could be some overwintering pests in this material. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to pull out all this mulch, at least most of it anyway. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's time to get rid of this so that the sun can uh, warm the soil. This time of the year, the soil is plenty moist, and it's not going to heat up enough to really dry out this uh, raised bed. But I will be putting new mulch down once the soil is warm and I start to have to water because then I want to use the mulch to suppress weeds as well as retain moisture, which will help the plants grow. Now, it's funny that this, these plants don't look that big. They're probably eight to 10 inches tall, but we're literally, we're gonna be harvesting these garlic that was fall planted, uh, that were fall planted in uh, probably early June. So uh, the quicker I get this mulch off, the quicker I get the soil heating up, uh, the quicker these plants are gonna grow and mature. I am growing a soft neck variety and the garlic I grow, I seem to have the best luck with, is just the store-bought. Uh, I just buy the cloves, or the bulbs, and then separate the cloves and plant them in the fall. The reason you plant them in the fall is they need a dormant cold period to bulb up the next year. If I was to plant garlic in the spring, I'm probably not going to get bulbs. I'm just going to get uh, green garlic or just eat the tops. Now, as I'm digging through the hay or the straw, I find worms. There's a red worm, and this bed is full of red worms. And so even though it's not a thick bed and it's froze pretty solid all winter, it's still supporting uh, soil life. I'm really interested to see how this garlic is going to grow this year. Uh, last year I was a little disappointed in the size of my uh, garlic heads that I harvested, so I really put a new concoction of, of minerals and, and, uh, and different fertilizer sources, which you can see in a previous video. And I'm hoping that I'll do a good job and uh, get some really big, big heads this year. But who knows? I have a bald spot in the middle. Don't know why. But nothing ever goes to waste. I'll just plant some onions in here in the bald spots. Then, like everything, uh, you got to bring the, the, all the excess stuff from the garden as I almost fall through the gate and give it to the chickens because they'll kick through it and they'll eat the worms or whatever else is in there. And here's a look at my mulchless or almost mulchless garlic. And uh, this is where we're at on the first day of spring being tomorrow. I'm going to get, I didn't get all of it, so I'm going to spread it out a little bit. But this soil will heat up as soon as the weather changes, and then these plants will just take off. So excited to see uh, if I did a good job with my uh, soil preparation. They look a little burned, uh, but they're doing it. They'll do okay, I think. Thanks for watching today, this quick video, and I appreciate you. And if you like this kind of topics and videos, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment. Thank you.